first we need to get rid of all this junk. Why are there so many unnecessary things here? I never thought I would use my superpowers for cleaning. Let's get this out of here. And we need to make some extra room. I can even move my beds. That's not enough. I need to get rid of the rest of my garbage. All right. I seem to have managed that. Now what's next for us? Looks like it's Lily's turn. Sure thing. Now I'm gonna need to use some magical dirt. So I can plant my magical seeds. I'll give you some water. That's my magic powers. Now the seeds are gonna grow! Into a bed! Wow, it looks amazing! Real sturdy. Cool! But one bed won't be enough for us. We're gonna need to build a second one. Me and my fiery powers will definitely be able to do that. Get ready. Cause now we're about to have two cool beds. Alright girls. Time to start painting. Turns out painting's a really relaxing activity. Looks like I found a fun new hobby. All these plants are getting in the way of me painting. That's better. This is gross. So dirty. Well, the paint should cover that up. This is gonna look so cool! Girls, don't forget. We've got bunk beds. So we gotta paint the stairs too. Okay. But wouldn't it be cooler if we just used our powers to fly to the top bunk? Well, anyways. I gotta make sure I paint this top bunk nice and pretty. Just as pretty as the first. I think I'm gonna wanna sleep here. Our beds are turning out so cool! I'm gonna take the bottom bunk for myself. Girls, we did such a good job! The first stage is complete. Now we need to make things nice and cozy. And by things, I mean adding a lot of pillows to our beds! And of course some extra plants wouldn't hurt. How lovely! After I'm done with my bed, everyone will understand why plants are everyone's best friend. They make the best decoration. They also make really great walls. Now no one's gonna bother me while I'm sleeping. Wow, Lily, you're almost done. It's time for me to work on my part of the bed. There's nothing softer than light fluffy clouds. I'll put these around the edges. Perfect! Now, let's add some lighting. So pretty! I feel like I'm sitting in a real cloud in the sky. This is real magic. I also found a bunch of pillows and blankets for my bed. But this isn't enough for me. I'm gonna need to add a pool. Hey Lucy, can you help me? I could use a hand. Sure, easy. Anything for a friend. Thanks so much! Now I just need to fill it with water. Anytime! You're the best! Perfect. Now my bed's even more fun. There's nothing cooler than playing in water. I think everyone can agree with me on that. 
Especially when you've got cute little duckies nearby. Okay, that's enough of that. Hey, Lucy. I'm gonna need your help again. Can you dry me off? I got a little wet. Okay. Thanks so much! Thank you! Now don't distract me anymore. I'm meditating. There's nothing cozier than red blankets and red pillows. Gosh, while I was decorating my bed, I got so hungry. I think I know what I'm gonna have for lunch today. I'm gonna make a bonfire. Don't you think that's the perfect thing in a cold room? And thanks to this fire, I'm gonna make my favorite snack. Delicious roasted marshmallows. Gosh, I love marshmallows. Girls, wish me a bon appetit. Something's missing here. I wanna add a few more details. Like flowers! They'll fit perfectly with my interior. I also need to add some light. Perfect. I'm really hungry. Hey, does anyone mind if I grow an orange tree next to our beds? Wow! I'm all for it! Wow! So cool! I love oranges. Plus, they're really healthy and good for you. I only eat foods that come from raw plants. I agree with Lily. I'm missing some things too. I think some red curtains will look great. Oh yeah! Now I really feel like I'm at home. It's so cozy and beautiful here. All right, I need to add some light. Now everything's just perfect. Oh, that's it! Perfect. I'm getting bored. I want to add something to my bunk too. All right, fish. You're gonna become a delicious steak soon. Don't worry, little guy. I'll save you from that crazy man. Hey, where's the fish? What am I gonna eat? <laughs> now I have a friend. I'll name him Nemo. And with him, my little water world became way more friendly. What else should I add? Oh, that's right! So I can have some privacy. I'll put up a curtain. Now I have a space all to myself. Oh, and of course, a little light wouldn't hurt either. Gorgeous! I miss my friends the clouds. But I can fix that fast. Hey, little guys. How you been doing? Oh, that's right. I always love to have a rainbow between my clouds. Who doesn't love rainbows? People like that don't even exist. So cute. I could enjoy this forever. But hey, girls, I think you're right. I could really use some curtains, too. I can use the curtains to create a sky for my clouds to sit in. Now I just need to add some light. Well, how do you like it? I think it's gorgeous. Looks like Quentin decided to start with painting. Hmm, it seems to be working out well. Good job, Quentin. Well, it's kind of fun to do it. Oh, Quentin, the paint got on your face, but he did not lose his head. On the contrary, it inspired him to bid a bit of rebellion. What about Mary? Yeah, if you paint with nail polish, then at best, you will finish in old age. Apparently, Mary also guessed this. Well, or she was inspired by Quentin, who has already finished painting. Mary has not only a competitive spirit, but also some idea. It looks like she decided to trim the house with a soft pink fabric. So original and very soft. 
It's like I'm on the cloud. It seems that Quentin decided to dilute the blue with droplets of white. Look at that. Ooh, he got a little carried away and kind of painted Mary. And Wednesday. Oh my. You do not joke with Wednesday. Quentin, save yourself. A creepy hand is chasing you. Fortunately, he was able to hide on the roof. A good reason to celebrate your salvation and the end of painting the house by hosting the multi do flag. It seems that Quentin is not very happy with the appearance of the house, but he has already come up with something. He paints white. Hmm, I wonder what will be next. Ooh, it's a soccer ball. Very original. Well done, Quentin. I wonder what Mary is up to with her discs. We'll find out now. Oh, yeah, she decorated the roof with them. It looks very unusual and stylish. Look out, Mary. Yeah, the roof is beautiful, but just very slippery. The only thing left is to install the heart. Ooh, it looks like Quentin also decided to decorate the roof. But decided to do it with stickers. What about the second window? Hmm, it looks like the basketball is missing something. Quentin has a solution already. A basketball hoop. It looks great and so sporty. But it's such more fun to play with a real ball. The best throw? Yeah, not the best. It seems that Wendy doesn't really like sports. I'm sure next time Quentin will think a thousand times before doing that. Wednesday also decided to take care of her house. Yeah, not the brightest color, but it's her style. And of course, where without bars on the windows, right? It seems that thing brought a sword. Look. I wonder why she needs it. Yeah, only Wednesday can have a roof decorated like that. She seems to have come up with another idea. Yes, a little creepy eyes won't hurt this house, right? Well, it seems that the appearance of all houses is ready. And this means that we're moving on and we'll take care of the yard. Wednesday decided to start with a spear and a bat ornament. Look. Well, it's beautiful in its own way. Well, where do we go without thing, right? The best helper ever. We're without plants, right? But you didn't think she would leave it just like that, did you? Of course not. We're without the creepy decorations in the form of eyes, right? So why does she need a shovel and bones? Is she planting them? What? Oh, very intriguing. Is she watering them? I'm afraid to imagine what's gonna be next. Oh, dippity doppity doo. My hands are out of the ground? Well, we're without a mailbox in the form of a coffin, right? Yeah, Wednesday definitely has a style. Creepy, but stylish. Quentin decided to decorate his yard with a hockey stick. And a garland. Very sporty. Only lawn painting will make this house even more sporty. Don't you understand? Now you'll see for yourself. Look, this is a real football marking. It seems that Quentin thinks that is not enough. He decided to install a gate. So it is necessary to try out his new yard. Quentin, come on, go! Go! Well done, Quentin! Congratulations! Oops, he tripped over something. It seems to be a small trash can. But with Quentin's resourcefulness, it can easily turn into a great mailbox in the form of a frog. Look! 
Hmm, so what about Mary? Mary decided to start with a mailbox. But not everything is so simple. She will decorate it and make it in the form of a flamingo. How creative and beautiful. And where do we go without soft ties of Huggy Wuggy? A pink heart instead of a plan is so cute! A great addition will be a pink flagpole. And pink hearts in a form of… decoration. And you can lay a blanket on the lawn. Spend time in it with pleasure. Put some pillows on and get a rest. The only thing that can distract her from this perfection is Quentin's trainings. Oops. It looks like a conflict of neighbors is going to fire up. Well, Wednesday does not care. She has her own atmosphere. It's convenient when you have a thing that brings you cocktails by itself. So it's time to finish the interior of the house. Whoa! You can't even be more creative there! Well, let's see what Wednesday's gonna do. Of course she decided to paint everything dark black. It looks creepy, so it's just right for Wednesday. Now a little decor in the form of bats, bones, and spiders. Look, Thing also has its own house. How cute. Uh, I mean creepy. Wednesday decided to do furniture next. A table made of tires, decorated with an old lantern, skulls, and plants. And another table with an antique candlestick. Well, where without an atmospheric garland, right? Look at that. And spider web. Where the spider? Well, it's hard to imagine this place without a fortune-telling ball. She has an interesting way of communicating with relatives, right? Yeah, say hi from us too! What about Quentin? He also started with painting. Well, here, I'm not doubting that it's going to be brighter than Wednesday's place. Now, he decided to add stickers. As well as glue Legos on the wall. Look at that. Ooh, we're gonna figure out what he's gonna do next. A large Lego man? Ooh, so creative and cool holders from Lego. He made a hanger out of it, holders for charging the headphones. It turned out very beautiful and very creative. But what to do with the rest of the details? They need to be filled in a frame with a Lego man, that's right! This is a great storage. Also, Quentin decided to add some Minecraft and hung the axes on the wall. Also, Quentin decided to add some Minecraft and hang the axes on the wall and place dynamite in the corner. That's right, an ottoman and consoles to play your favorite Minecraft won't hurt. Hmm, Quentin, don't you think it's getting a little dark? Fortunately, Quentin has a chandelier in the form of a skateboard. It looks just amazing. It's gonna fit in right well. Just look at this, more light and more creativeness here. Well, how's Mary doing? It's time for her to decorate the house, too. Mary started by painting in pink, and I'm not really surprised by that. A 
It's evident that Mary is super satisfied with her job. Well, of course, she's a little tired. But how about a little glamorous decor? The most glamorous decor I've ever seen. Fluffy carpet, wonderful. But you can go further and make a fluffy mirror. Such a house simply cannot do without a closet. Hmm, I like it so much, but something's missing. Hmm, interesting what? Right, posters with a unicorn will be a great decoration for the wall. Well, where without a mini stove? Garlands will be a great finishing touch. Wow. Look, Mary has already made some cookies to celebrate the end of the renovation. She decided to have a tea ceremony with her hoggy woggies. I think they won't be too upset if they get smaller portions. Now I'm going to take care of you, honey. Here, treat yourself. Mmm, so cute and so delicious. Well, everybody has decorated their own house. And we're moving on!